literally just thought of another video idea. Um, I know that I, um, like tea. I'm not a coffee drinker at all, but I like green tea recently. So, um, I have just want to show you guys how I make green tea in my Keurig without burning myself or using the stove because I know that sometimes some people can't use the stove by themselves like me, even though my burners are on the front um, in my new kitchen. Um, so basically what I do is you see my Yeti right here and what I do is I lift up the Keurig like where you'd put the coffee in and then I push it back down. Sorry, that was my stomach. I'm probably hungry or something. And then I brew, I believe it's eight ounces of water. Hold on, let me go save my phone from getting dropped on the floor. Um, and then what I do, because it's hot water, is I put the Yeti cup back on it and then I put it behind me in my wheelchair, just like behind me. I've been doing that for years and then now with just any water bottle. And then now let's go to the table to show you what I do from Going there. in my drawer to grab a, let's just use, I'll use one of these spoons. One of these, just one of these spoons. And so we're back at the table, and what I'm gonna do is I just reach behind me and I get the Yeti. Um, someone got this for me many years ago, and I put stickers on it, um, the Fry Life stickers. So I use this Yeti probably two or three times a week. And I put water and tea. Lately I've been using it for tea. And so I put, I take the cap off again. Um, and if you don't have the fine motor skills to do this, I would definitely ask for help because you don't want your, you don't want to burn yourself with hot water. And so I use one packet of Bigelow green tea. Um, and I believe this is a 10 ounce, maybe a 16 ounce tumbler. Um, I have a water bottle Yeti that's like a 20 ounce tumbler. And then I also have another tumbler that is uh, 40 ounces that I got for my sister's wedding, but those are those are only for water. Those would never be for tea. This is a good one for tea. Or I have an eight ounce mug that I use for tea too that I got from Target. So this is what the, oh no. This is what the tea bag looks like. And basically, you just take it and you put it in there. And what do the directions say? The directions say to steep for three minutes. Alexa, set a three minute timer. Three minutes, starting now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean up my mess as I go along because you don't want the gross tea bag to be on the table. So I'm just gonna put the tea and the tea wrapper on the table. And then I use, as my sweetener of choice, I use Trevia sweetener from the Stevia leaf. I used two of these. Um, I used one in the beginning, but then it was very, very bitter for me and it just did not taste good um but that was like back in January when I was drinking tea like every day because winter but I do it differently now I use two of them and I just put them right in there and then I just Stir it around. I just stir 
and stir it until um, the stirring that is good and I'm just gonna leave it there for three minutes and sometimes I take the tea bag and I like dip it up and down sometimes I just leave it there but today I'm just gonna leave it there so we'll see you when the tea is done. I have 10 seconds left according to Alexa, so I'm just gonna come back. Alexa, stop! And so I'm just gonna take the tea bag out and put it over here. And then I'm gonna put my mug top back on and that's the end of the video bye guys <laughs>